And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Well, the last of the scattered showers in our northern counties right now. We just had some exit Montgomery County, and the heart of the area is dry. But some showers from Kentland and Remington up through Francisville, so Roselawn and Wheatfield, southward towards Monticello, Chalmers, and also Monon, Smithson, Logansport, or Rochester, and everything's kind of dropping southeastward. So some of these will eventually affect parts of Tippecanoe County, Carroll, as well as Clinton and Howard counties with time this evening. And then they get out of here because the back edge is here approaching I-57 in eastern Illinois. Then we're just going to have low clouds and some fog overnight. 59 now at the station, 57 Monticello, about 60 at Kokomo and 60 at Pine Village. Lows tonight generally in the upper 40s to around 50. Greater Lafayette temps, there's the station at 59, northeast sides at 59, and Pull and Hill Road station at 58. There are the lows in the 40s and low 50s overnight, 49 by 5, 48 at 7, back to 61 by 11 a.m. As the fog and low clouds burn off tomorrow morning, followed by pretty nice Tuesday through Saturday with warmer conditions before showers and storms come back in Saturday night and Sunday. And there could be some locally heavy rain from that as well before uh, a warm pattern, actually extended warm pattern, kind of settles in for the rest of the month before we see a big cool down in early October. There are the low clouds and some of the fog overnight. Notice by around 10 o'clock in the morning, a lot of that's starting to burn off. Then we really burn it off by around noon, but some fair weather cumulus clouds kind of bubbling up tomorrow afternoon. Those fade away tomorrow night, but there could be some patchy, locally dense fog even tomorrow night as lows drop into the 40s. That burns off, and then we enjoy a pretty nice Wednesday and even Thursday. Looks pretty good tonight. 45 to about 50 for the low, followed by highs tomorrow in the 60s to perhaps around 70. Crawfordsville and Covington, 68 Lafayette, 64 at Logansport, 66 at Burlington. 71 Lafayette on Wednesday, 67 at Winnemac, and about 71 at Crawfordsville as well. Two weather makers headed our way for late in the weekend, it appears. This is Hurricane Orline down here in Baja, California. It will likely still be a tropical depression when it moves into southeastern Arizona and New Mexico and then moves up like that. Thing is, it will combine with a pretty fall-like system that will actually bring some rain to central California. And as these kind of combine about right here and head our way, there's a lot of deep tropical moisture, and that could really bring out some decent rainfall for us around about Saturday night and Sunday. But the good news about the forecast is, one, it's warming up, and it's going to stay warm, and two, we don't have rainfall every day. You know, I look back at all the seven days since August the 1st, and over 90% of them have a chance of thunderstorms on at least four of the seven days in every weather cast we've had. So um, it's drier. We're still getting some rain, but it's drier than it has been. And wow, some places have had, I, I've seen White County, have had 16 inches of rain since August 1st. Yeah, it's time to shut that off. Yeah, it? it is muddy. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Jim.